the direct supply attendant economy pad alarm is a simple option in terms of functionality and price point. The economy model features an on-off switch, AC power cord outlet, and a pressure pad jack on the bottom of the alarm. Volume controls are located inside the battery case to prevent tampering. All attendant alarms have the majority of its controls inside the battery case surrounded by a protective boot for added durability and tamper prevention. The protective boot also features two holes cut into the back to relieve pressure from the pad plug. To set up the alarm, place the battery in the back of the alarm. Set volume to high or low. Make sure the alarm is turned on. Weave pad cord through holes in protective boot and then into the pad jack on the bottom of the alarm. Test the alarm functionality by pinching and releasing pressure from the pad. An in-use light at the top of the alarm will indicate the alarm is active. The alarm light will be activated when pressure has been released from the pad and the alarm will sound. The low battery light will blink and chirp when the battery needs to be replaced. Reset the alarm by simply reapplying pressure to the pad or by turning the alarm off and then back on. The alarm may be attached to beds or chairs with standard mesh strap or with optional bed or chair clips. For earliest awareness of fall events, place the bed pads behind shoulder blades or the bony prominence that leaves the bed first. Place chair pads under the core of the resident. Always refer to your resident's specific fall assessment to customize pad placement to each resident's movement behavior.